The USS Abraham Lincoln, one of America's main deterrents against Iran's military. On patrol in the Persian Gulf, the carrier is vital to keeping one of the world's most important shipping lanes open for traffic, the Strait of Hormuz. Now the Nimitz-class carrier itself had to transit through the strait only a few miles from Iranian territory. The USS Abraham Lincoln has more than 70 aircraft on board, many of them jet fighters like the F-18 Hornets that you see behind me. Nevertheless, the U.S. Navy still says even a carrier of this size could be vulnerable to an attack from the Iranian Navy. About 20% of global oil exports go through the Strait of Hormuz. In the standoff over Iran's nuclear program, Tehran has threatened to close the Strait, a move that could cause major damage to the world's economy. And Iran recently even warned the U.S. not to transit carriers through here. That's why Rear Admiral Troy Shoemaker, in charge of this carrier strike group, has prepared his crew ahead of what the military called a regular and routine transit of the Strait. You've heard the rhetoric in the in the in the papers about potentially closing the Straits Hormuz, and we just we just remain vigilant as we come through. Part of that vigilance: machine gunners to fend off small boat attacks. Many of the jets were stowed on lower decks to prevent them from getting hit if the Lincoln comes under fire, and helicopters hovering overhead to detect approaching ships. It doesn't take the choppers long to find one. An Iranian patrol boat shadowing the Abraham Lincoln, at times no more than half a mile away. While a vessel like this couldn't sink a carrier, a sudden attack could do a lot of damage. What are the specific threats that the Iranian Navy could pose to a ship like this? Uh, specific threats? Well, they, they have small boats, they have bigger boats, they have submarines, they have aircraft. I mean, they have pretty much the gamut of things. But the Iranian vessels leave the carrier alone. After several hours, the passage through the Strait of Hormuz is complete without incident. And the Abraham Lincoln is off to a new task, supporting NATO operations in Afghanistan. Fred Pike and CNN aboard the USS Abraham Lincoln in the Strait of Hormuz.